Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing good and that you're having a nice summer. In mid-May, a friend of mine came to visit me from Switzerland, so we decided to head to the east coast of Scotland for a change for the weekend, as another friend of mine lives there and gave us fabulous tips on where to sleep eat and what to visit, which we followed religiously, resulting in a perfect itinerary. The place which took my breath away was San Saros Beach, so I'm forwarding the recommendation to visit it to you all. I hope you like this video, don't forget to like or comment if you did. Enjoy! On the way to Stonehaven, we briefly stopped at Dune Castle, which is where the first episode of Game of Thrones was filmed, and it starred as Winterfell. My friend and I are both Game of Thrones fans. We didn't actually visit the castle, and we said we would visit it on the way back, but then we didn't have time, and so, unfortunately, we didn't visit it inside. I had visited it in 2019, actually. When we arrived in Stonehaven, we casually walked in front of the place where the world famous Mars, sorry, Fried Mars bar was invented, and I had no idea, so that was a nice casual finding. And obviously, my friend had to taste Iron Brew. Usually, my friends don't love it because they say it tastes like bubble gum. After our walk in the center of Stonehaven, we checked into the BNB, the lovely farmhouse, and to be honest with you, it would be an ideal home of mine, as it was so cozy, modern, delightfully furnished, and the carpet was so soft, it was a pleasure walking on it. Also, the word which would best describe the breakfast is amazing. The room was very spacious and the bathroom modern, Everything was spotless and the owners left us two slices of homemade cake too. From the windows you could see a pretty countryside road, fields, cows and something else which I won't tell you. The B&B is a 15-minute drive from the center of Stonehaven, so we had dinner at the Marine Hotel on our night out. Dinner was delicious, and then we had a whiskey on the ground floor, where the pub of the hotel is.
I've always been a lover of the west coast of Scotland, but I must say that seeing photographs of Dunottar Castle always made me want to visit the east coast as well, because of its rocky location. A lot of important events happened in the castle. As a matter of fact, in 1297, after the invasion of Scotland by English forces, William Wallace attacked an English garrison at Dunottar, taking it back under Scottish control. According to the legend, Wallace showed no compassion and set fire to the chapel where English soldiers had hidden, condemning them to a horrendous death. Other soldiers were pushed down the cliff edges, leaving no survivors behind. In 1562, Mary, Queen of Scots, visited the castle for the first time and spent two nights there two years later. In 1593, a pet lion was brought to the castle and housed in what is now called the Lion's Den. I know I'm always mentioning Game of Thrones and I apologize for this, but I must tell you that when I was in the room that I'm about to show you, I really felt like I was in Dragonstone, in the room where the characters plan wars. Here's a photo to explain what I'm talking about. Dunottar Castle is surrounded on three sides by the North Sea, and it is here that the Scottish crown jewels were hidden in the 17th century. Dunottar Castle is certainly one of the most beautiful castles I've ever seen so far in Scotland, only second to my favourite, Island Donan Castle, on the way to the Isle of Skye. <laughs> 